fallas, que una bien esencial es eh, la inestabilidad, pérdida de potencia. Hey guys, good evening. This is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. Welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you very much for being here. And let's take attendance real quick. Alba Noemi Cortez de González. Present. Thank you. Carly Vane Cabrera Serrano. Not present. Claudia Lisette Canales de Enriquez. Not present. Bueno, Laura? Not present. Daisy Martínez. Daisy? Not present. Fernando Ernesto Morales? Not present. Héctor Eduardo López Varela? Present. Thank you. José Antonio Cubías Hernández? Sí. Present. Thanks. José Saúl González Roque? Present. Thank you. Carla Enet Amaya Herrera. Present. Thank you. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Thanks. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes. Present. Thank you. Miguel Ángel Paz Donde Verde. Present. Thank you. Miren Carolina Mazo Valdés. Miren. No, present. Rena Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present, teacher. Thanks. Rena Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Not present. Saber la Mabela Tin Castro. Not present. Sandra Elisa de Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Thank you very much. Me, Vania, present. Teacher Deborah Soto. Present, teacher. Teacher. Ah, como vinieron tarde, no las toma ninguno. Mentira. Um, Carly Ivana Cabrera Serrano. Present. Sí, Pedro Raquel Soto Martínez. Present. Thanks. Wells, ¿qué más? Sabrina, teacher. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present. Sabrina. Sabrina Álvarez. Sabrina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Great, great. Present. And Wells, that's it, right? All righty. So welcome everybody. Today we're going to be working with a new topic. <clears throat> Before we continue, um, I want to thank you all for your dedication, okay? Dedication and responsibility. So let's start reading. I will be able to. I will be able to. I will be able to. Interpret information. Uh -huh. Interpret information. Interpret information from a financial statement. From a financial from a, statement. From a, a financial statement of a company. Of a, of a company. There you go. Okay. Um, so let's get ready with this. Uh, today we're going to be working with amounts. I'm going to be telling you how to talk about certain amounts. So say with me, please. Current assets. Current access. Asset. Access. Cash and equivalents. Cash and equivalents. Total current assets. Total access. Total assets. Total assets. With T. Asset. Asset. Assets. Assets. Current liabilities. Current liabilities. Stay with me. Cut. Exploded. Current. 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 What is the meaning of liability, guys? Passive liability. <clears throat> yes. And the other word for this one? Is passivo corriente. Passivo corriente. Okay, yes, but there's also because a liability not only in accounting has a different meaning. And I remember mentioning this yesterday, I think, or a couple of days ago. Liability is a responsibility. 
Mm -hmm. So not only in accounting, you can also use it for more things. Say with me, please, accounts payable. Accounts payable. Total current liabilities. Total current liabilities. Total liabilities. Total liabilities. Total li You're going to get this L and this L together. Total liabilities. Total liabilities. Stockholders equity. Stockholders equity. Common stock. Common stock. Capital surplus. Capital surplus. Thank you, Jose Antonio. What about the rest? Total stockholder equity. Total stockholder equity. Cabal equity. Good. Um, I need a volunteer, guys, to read these numbers. I remember that we were working how to tell a mom. ¿Se acuerdan que estuvimos trabajando con cantidades? Yes. I need a volunteer to read this one. Okay, me, Ana Maria. Go ahead, Ana Maria. Mm. One million eighty eighty thousand. Ninety no, oh, eighty ninety thousand. Uh -huh. <laughs> ya me ya se me olvidó cómo se leía. Okay. So to start, these are hundreds or thousands. 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 These are thousands, mm -hmm. correct. Mm -hmm. This sería one million. Wait 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 wait. I'm on it. <clears throat> ah, okay. Thousands. Mm -mm. Yes, hasta, hasta 999 mil, 999 es okay. Yeah, 999 mil. So, from this to left, these are millions. Million. And the next one? Oh, billion. 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 That's right. Well, no tengo los lentes, que lo mira tres. Tres dos. Ya se sacó para no decir el número. Okay, so who else wants to do it? Who else wants to give it a try? Igual es cuestión de. Just one. No se joloten. No. One thousand eight hundred ninety million. Okay, let me do it with you guys. One billion. One billion. One billion. 819 million. 819 million. 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 And then nothing. That's it. 1 billion 819 million. Why? Because you have nothing else. Uh -huh. so is si hay otra cantidad, teacher, ¿cómo sería? Aha. That's the point. Let's do it right here. Just a sec. Okay. So let's pretend we have this. One billion eight hundred nineteen million. And remember, we don't say millions, we say million. Million. Mm -hmm. Um two hundred thirty-four thousand eight hundred seventy-six. So as we work with the with this, remember you're going to split them. Los van a dividir in hundreds, thousand, million, and billion. Billion. Mm -hmm. So the tip is learn how to count to 999. Si ustedes pueden contar hasta 999 ya la hicieron. So we're gonna say here. <clears throat> One million, I oh know one billion, right? Billion. One billion, eight hundred nineteen million, two hundred thirty-four thousand, eight hundred seventy-six. Eight hundred seventy-six. Mm -hmm. I need a volunteer to read it, please. <clears throat> well, teacher. <clears throat> this one, sorry. 
uh, one billion uh -huh. a hundred nineteen million uh -huh. a two hundred Thirty four million. Yep, two hundred thirty four thousand. Thousand. Eighty. Uh -huh. And eighty. Eighty hundred seventy six. Almost there. Eight hundred. Eight hundred seventy six. Eight hundred seventy six. Correct. So, what's this one, guys? One billion. Uh -huh. billion? One six. billion. Six. six. Six hundred. And that's it. Y para de contar. Now, what about if we have this as a continuation of the number? Let's pretend this is the next one. Sixteen thousand. Uh huh. Five five hundred seventy seventy four. Sixty four. Sixty four. Sixty four. Good job. So everybody say with me, please. One billion. One billion. One billion. Six hundred eleven million. Six hundred eleven million. Million. Seven hundred sixty five thousand. 765,000. <clears throat> this one. Okay. No lo pongo encima porque no se ve. Correct. Seven hundred twelve. Everybody repeat after me, please. Six billion. Six, Six billion. billion. Four hundred eighty thousand. Four hundred eighty thousand. Sorry about that. Million. This million. 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 Nine hundred thousand. Nine hundred thousand. Seven hundred twelve. Seven hundred twelve. Seven hundred twelve. Correct. Well. So <clears throat> let's go with this one. And we're going to do it at the same time. This one right here. Help me out. Volunteer. Four billion. Four billion. Four billion. Mm -hmm. Four hundred. Four hundred. Eighty-three. Three million. Million. Seven. Uh, seven thousand. Seven thousand. Uh -huh. uh, one. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> one. So, el tip acá es, señores, que aprendan a contar hasta el 999. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and then, you just say, la cantidad que sea, siempre empezando con los con los cienes, the hundreds. Hundreds es por el apóstrofe S de posesión y relación, no que sea plural, hundreds. Um, oh, yeah. And you say the number, million. The number, oh, no, the number, billion. The number, million. The number, thousand. The number. Hundred. Mm -hmm. So those are the hundreds. Now let's get this one. <clears throat> this one done. Say it with me, please. Nine billion. Nine billion. Nine billion. Nine billion. Eight hundred. 
Very good. Let's complete these ones right here. <coughs> Um, mm -hmm. this one and this one. All right, let's do this together, guys. Million. One hundred one hundred one thousand two hundred one thousand two hundred two hundred eight hundred sixty seven million one hundred six on me eight hundred sixty seven million one hundred one thousand two hundred. Mm -hmm. Si lo leen así rápido, soy bien fancy. Oh, este sí puede contar. So let's work with the last one. <coughs> And I'm working with your pronunciation in this one, okay? All right, let's do this one. Two billion. Two billion. uh-huh. Three hundred thirty-three. Three hundred thirty-three. Correct. So, pretty much, we have uh, we need to learn how to work with the numbers. Okay. And what we're gonna do right now is that I want you to practice and challenge other teams. So we're gonna have like a little battle. Vamos a hacer una batalla. <coughs> um, where you're going to challenge. Okay, ustedes van a retar, you're going to challenge the other teams. No se van a pasar los números, sino que ustedes los van a practicar como grupo. You're going to practice as a group. I need at least five, five numbers of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, at least 12 figures. Figure is cifra. At least 12 figures. Figure. Figure. Figures. So, sí. las van a practicar esas cinco y luego alguien va a poder retar a alguien de otro grupo y le va a poner el número en el chat. Ahora, si la persona no lo dice, punto para el otro equipo. Pero la persona puede también retar al del grupo. So, it's a, it's a challenge back, right? Si esta persona reta al dueño de ese número y el dueño del número no lo puede decir, se lo pasan al otro. Ok. So, if, si ustedes van a poner un número, es por lo que, que lo pueden decir. So, this is going to be a quick thing, guys. We're going to go to the breakout rooms and practice for five minutes. Cinco minutos, five numbers, 12 figures. And you practice them as a group. All right. Ahí les digo yo después contra quién van. So, let me go ahead and open the breakout rooms. Five groups. Give me a second. All right, go for it. Accept the invite. I'll see you at 825. Renette, did you get the invite? Mm -hmm. Okay, pues sí. Mm -hmm. um, o sea, que no diga. Vamos a hacer dos billones, 754 millones, 21,615. Beautiful. Beautiful Spanish. It's like. Ahora vamos a hacerlo en inglés. Repito, por favor. Ok. Two billion, billion, seven hundred, fifty-four million, uh -huh. 
Ah, okay. Three hundred twenty one thousand. Uh huh. Six hundred fifty. La última cifra. Fifty. Fifteen. No, siento qué. No, seiscientos quince. Six hundred fifteen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Six fifteen. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se dice? Billion o billion? Billion. 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 Okay. Yes. Voy a poner el otro. Okay. Mm, million. Voy a poner uno que tenga más números porque ese está más Vale, ahí está. Six. Six. Six billion. Six billion. Six billion. Four eight. Four billion. No. Four eight. Four hundred. Four eight hundred. Eighty. Eighty thousand. Eighty thousand. Samsung. Eight. Nine. 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 Eight hundred seventy-six. Teacher, thousand también se dice thousand. en singular. Yep. Ah. Okay, okay. Teacher, e igual el, el, el inicio, digamos, el, el de los billion, uh, depende de qué número sea, así va a ser la, el número ya en, de billones. Pero por ejemplo, si tenemos 10, 10 billion. Ajá. Sí, va. Sí. Ah, lo que pasa es que con esto de billion, million, thousand, no se ponen en plural. 156 million. Lo que ah, pasa okay. es que nosotros en español sí lo hacemos así. 80 millones. Uh -huh. Right? And, and in English, we don't say it like that. Okay. How many do you have? Two. Two. All right. Keep it up with the next. Any questions? Okay. <coughs> no. No. Ready. 17. 100. Me dijo 113. Yo le dije 113. Y 113. Ajá. Y usted me dice 117. Sí. Ah, Se lo digo nuevamente. Se lo digo nuevamente. Ajá. One let billion. Me, let me say it again. Let me say it. Let me see. Let okay. me. Say. Let say. me again. Huh? Come on. Huh? <laughs> let me say it again. Let me see. Let me say, say. it again. Say. Uh -huh. say it again. And one billion. Uh huh. Twenty-nine million. Seven seven hundred sixty-four thousand. One hundred thirteen. Mm -hmm. Good. Let me say it again. Let me say. Let Any me questions, guys? Say no. it again. How many do nada you más, Nada más con el homework. Ah, ya, ya vamos a entrar al homework. No worries. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yeah. I, 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 there, there are, there are uh, problems. Okay, no worries. We'll fix them. Bye.
Go, eh, primer... bueno, ahora le, di, le, le voy a decir una cifra en, 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 en español y usted me lo dice en inglés. How many, how many do you have right now? How many figures? How many? Two. How many? Two. All right. Two. Uh, try to come up with five because we need to have five. I'm giving you more time because of that. Okay. Um, uh, hello, hello, Amy. Hello, Amy. Uh, he's like, he's he's like, like a ghost. ghost. Mm -hmm. Go out. How are you doing, guys? <coughs> Hola, teacher. Este, verdad que, bueno, según comprendí los ejemplos, se van a leer las cantidades separando primero la centena, ¿verdad? leyendo primero las se la centena, ¿verdad? Ya. Yeah. Ajá. Por, por ejemplo, este, la primera cifra que tenemos serían 874.345.890. millones mil Okay. Entonces, es, leeríamos primero, 874 million. Yeah, you go from the left to the right, de izquierda a derecha. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh, yeah. 874 millones, serían 874 million. Correct. Eh, luego serían 345 mil. 345. Thousand. Y eh, 890. Eight, nine. 800. 800. 800. Ah. 800. There you go. Good. How many do you have? 800. How many figures? Uh, how, how many figures do you have right now? How many do you have? ¿Cuántos tienen? How many do you have? Solo uno. Démosle, piquémosle, pues. Tenemos tres vale. minutos. Ahorita seguimos por lo demás. <coughs> Uh, in English, that's going to be chop, chop. Come on. Hurry up. Chop, chop. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, for, for 445 million. 109. Thousand three hundred forty. My case, my case, Okay, good, great, good job. So <coughs> you have three. Come up with two more. Okay. Okay, guys, we got a minute. Okay. Solo escríbanlo, sí, y dividan en las cosas, ni piensen en el número, que el teclado les haga el trabajo, y después ven cómo se dice. Okay. Oh, you got a minute. Okay. ¿Cuántas cifras dijo, teacher? At least 12. Por lo menos en, entre 9 y 12. Billions okay. or millions. You got 25 seconds, guys. No, no. Work as a group, not as an individual. Son más fuertes. Este, teacher, bueno, 120 millones, eh, 389 mil. Sería 120 million. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, 389 mil, 3. All right, guys, so let's get it started. You're going to be challenging teams, okay? Not individuals. Van a, 
a retar a equipos, no a individuos. Y el que participe una vez no puede volver a participar por su equipo. ¿Ok? So, group number one, Ana María, Débora, Mariana, and René. You go against Carla Iván. Uh, no, you know what? You go against Carla Ivania, Héctor, Miguel, and Sandra. All right? So, group number one, send the number via chat, please. Any number. Send it via chat. Via cual chat? Lo va a escribir. Me para todos. Lo van a escribir. Yeah, yeah. Here, everybody can say it. Can see it. Para todos. Ana María. Zoom chat. All right. Ahí está Miguel lo escribe. So Miguel already sent the first one. Somebody, Ana María, Débora, Mariana, or René. Read that number, please. Pero... Ana María. Ah. Anybody can read it. Vaya. Fifteen eh. million. Ah, ah. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, and 17 million 96,103. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no mistake. It was great. Good job. Good job. Good job. Ah, <laughs> All righty. So, um, good job. Now you guys send another to the next team, to Carla Ivania, Hector, Miguel, and Sandra. Send it via chat. En nosotros le escribamos, perdón. No entendí. Yes. Okay. Okay. Go for it. Carla, Hector, Miguel, anybody, Sandra. Two billion. Easy. Billion. Six hundred fifty-four million. Are you sure? Mm. Yeah. Okay, then continue. Ya me dejó en qué pensar. <laughs> eh, 300. Uh, 700. 754 700. million. Eh, 321,000. Eh, 615. Good job, sir. Good job. Good job. Good job. Me confundió en el 7. Tengo problemas con el 7 y el 6. All right. Okay. Good job. Like it. Like it. Like it. So, perfect. Let's go. Wait there. We're going to have uh, Catherine, Sabrina, and William throw a number to Jose Saul and Carla Yanet. Catherine, Sabrina, and William send it. Okay. <laughs> William, tú lo estás poniendo. <laughs> okay. Escribilo, Catherine. Okay, ahorita. Write it down, Catherine. Come on, buddy. Okay. Go for it. Jose Saúl or Carla Yanet. Ahorita, en este, one moment. 24, eh, 24 eh, Okay, um, do it again. Acuérdense, guys, que nuestro primer chip es el español. Okay, uso con eso. Say it one more time, and there is one thing to fix. Jose Saúl, a todos les estoy dando una oportunidad. There's one thing to fix. No les digo cuál, pero analice and say it again. Whenever you're ready. Hi. Okay, go for it, sir. Que lo repita, Saúl. 
Ajá, dale. Sí, sí. Repetirlo porque te equivocas en una cifra, rectifica. Uh -huh. Ah, bueno, yo lo puedo repetir con gusto. Eso, that's the attitude. Go. 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 Ah, okay, all right. We can, unfortunately, Ahora, unfortunately, we are missing 728,000. Right? Vaya, guys. Unfortunately, uh, no point for you. No hay punto para ustedes. Por lo siguiente, billions. Millions. Millions. Right? That has to be without S. Tiene que ir sin S. And also, 40, I think it is 44. Million. The, the, the last part is 445. But good, you know, keep on trying. Good job. Somebody mm -hmm. from Catherine, Sabrina, or William, read this number, please. 99 billion. 400. 76 million 165,117. One mistake. Don't say it. Catherine, I'm going to give you one more chance. No. <laughs> um. <laughs> 100. Okay. Ahorita. Ninety-nine billion. Four hundred seventy-six million. Four hundred sixty-five thousand one hundred seventeen. Okay. Good job. Good job. You got it. Round of applause. So from these, you are the, the winners, all right? Good job, guys, good job. And let's go with the last group, which is Alba, Jose, and Miriam. Como solo son cinco, ustedes pueden escoger a quién. Group, group one, two, or three, or even four. Who do you want to go against? ¿Con quién, contra quién quieren ir? Alba, Jose, and Miriam. Two. Which one? Number two. Number two. Okay. So, Carlivania, Hector, Miguel, and Sandra, get ready. Alba, Jose, and Miriam, show the number, please. Jose, lo dijita usted. Alba, Jose, mm. Antonio, or Miriam, show the number. By now, Ori. No need to. Cualquiera. One billion. Mm -hmm. Go for it. One billion. Okay, one billion. Wait a minute. Didn't Miguel participate it before? Didn't Miguel? Yeah. Uh -huh. Miguel okay. participated previously. It is. Somebody else, sorry. It can be Carla, Hector, or Sandra. Okay. Uh, six. Six billion. A hundred seventy four. Uh -huh. Three hundred. <laughs> 
45. Uh -huh. Come on, girl, you can do this. Thousand? Yes. <laughs> I know. No, no, no. Wait, wait, okay. <laughs> okay, you have one more chance. One more chance. Okay. Six million. Eight hundred. Seven. Seven. Four. Million. Three hundred. Three hundred forty-five thousand nine hundred eighty. Eighty. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Hey guys, no, not everything in life is winning, okay? No todo en la vida es ganar. So muy bien, Carla Vania, lo que te pasó fue que empezaste con millones. Right. Y ahí fue, me noté que luego te comiste la otra coma porque no sabías qué era. Pero en sí, muy bien hecho. Los números estuvieron bien dichos. Good job, Tata. Ok, very good. So now, if you say this, you win. Give me your number, guys. Tienen su número, and then Alba, José, or Miriam is going to read it. José ya puso un número, Tiche. Oh, sí. Pues sí, pero ahora tiene que poner este... Ok, Miguel. Thank you, Miguel. Now, Alba, José, and Miriam, go. Just one. Okay, uh, five billion one hundred thirty three million four hundred fifty six thousand seventy. Six, six, seven, seven hundred eighty nine. There you go. Good job, sir. Round of applause. Good job, good job, good job, good job, good job. Except this. <clears throat> How do you say 123? Si me exiges otro del punto. 123. There you go. Good job. Okay. Round of applause to you. Because I heard 133, 33. Okay? So, guys, good job. Make sure you practice this. Practiquen esto. Um, again, si están vendiendo algo y ustedes le dicen el precio que no es, les va a ir mal. Okay? So, work with it. And now, let's start with today's topic. Any questions about the numbers? No questions? No. no. Okay. So, say it after me, please. How to use zero conditional? How to use, to use zero conditional? How to use zero conditional? Repeat after me, please. What do we do if we have very low assets? <clears throat> what, what, we do what do we do if we have very low, low, low assets? assets? If we have low assets, <laughs> If we if have we low, have low, we assets. Have low assets, low assets, low assets, assets. we have to even up prices. We, we have, have to even up prices. 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 Or, 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 we have or, to even up prices. We have to even up prices. If we have low assets. If, if, if we have low assets. Um, try to say it in Spanish, please. What do we do if we have very low assets? In Spanish, what do we do if we have very low assets? ¿Qué hacemos 
si no cuando sé, tenemos muy bajo los asientos activo, los activos ajá guys <coughs> asset eh, sí es un activo right y generalmente es algo que se le puede sacar provecho si ustedes quieren ir a una entrevista de trabajo y pueden decir I'm going to be a very good asset to your company. Okay, ustedes se pueden identificar como algo positivo o un activo que va a generar. Su so, ¿Qué hacemos si tenemos? Muy bajos o muy pocos activos. Muy bajos o muy pocos activos. Mm -hmm. Let's continue. If we have low assets, we have to even up prices. Si nosotros tenemos pocos activos, nosotros... Podemos elevar los precios. O tenemos que. Wait, 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 wait. Si tenemos bajos activos, tenemos que nivelar los precios. Ah, nivelar. And, okay. So this is going to be. Tenemos que nivelar los precios. Si tenemos, si tenemos bajos activos, activos bajos, 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 bajos activos. Good. I'm not going to get into the explanation yet. Continue with this. When? 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 Where does your family go if they need a loan? Where does your Where family, your family, family go, go if they need a loan? If they need a loan. When my family needs a loan, they go to the bank. When my family needs a loan, they go to the bank. Or, 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 my family goes to the bank when they need a loan. My, my family, family goes, goes to the bank when they need a loan. loan. Okay, good. What is this in Spanish? Mm. ¿A dónde va ¿Dónde tu, va tu familia? familia? Si tu familia necesita un préstamo. Mm -hmm. ¿Dónde va tu familia? Sí, necesitan un préstamo. Mm -hmm. Cuando, Cuando mi familia necesita un préstamo, ellos van al banco. Mi familia o mi familia va al banco. Cuando ellos necesitan un préstamo. Ok, so based on this, when do you think you use zero conditional? ¿Cuándo creen que se ocupa el zero conditional? Based on this. Para una... Para un... Se le da vuelta la oración, Peter, y es el mismo sentido. Sí. El mismo significado. Ya, ya, ya. Una conditional sentences. I'm going to show you something. Don't laugh, okay? I'm going to show you something. Give me a second. Okay, don't mind my face, okay? Don't pay attention to my face. We're going to be using this for cause and effect. Okay, cause and effect. What is the meaning of cause and effect? Cause and effect. Cause and effect, correct. So we're going to use zero conditional when we have facts. What is the meaning of fact? Hechos. Hechos, right? <laughs> If you hit ice, it melts. Say it after me, please. If you hit ice, it melts. If you hit ice, it melts. ¿Qué pasa cuando calientan el hielo? Se derrite. Se derrite. 50% de las veces. Se derrite. 50% of the times or always? Always. 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 So this is a fact. Es un hecho. Ok, so we're going to use zero conditional for fact. Ok, let's continue. Rules. 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 If you break quarantine, you get arrested. If you break quarantine, you get arrested. Do you remember? I recorded this video like a year ago. Hace como un año. Si quiebras la cuarentena o si violas la cuarentena, te arrestan. Right? Because it was a rule. Era una regla. Right. This, this is when we use, this is another use of zero conditional. Okay? Say this one with me. Things that are always true. 
things that yes, are, that are that always, always, always true. true. Always true. To mm -hmm. my friend, it's peanuts. He gets sick. My, my friend, friend is my friend, it's peanuts. He gets sick. Get sick. Get sick. Uh, who is allergic to peanuts here? No. Anybody allergic? Alguien de ustedes es alérgico a los cacahuates? My partner. Okay. So for you, <laughs> for you, this is not true. Para ustedes esto no es cierto. Pero yo tengo un chero que se come un maní. Goodbye, mm -hmm. chero. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My co-worker. My co-worker. Yeah. Depending on the context, mm -hmm. this can be true or not. So it might not be true for you, but it might be true for somebody else. Puede que no sea cierto para ustedes. No es un hecho, porque no todo lo que come maní se petatea. Mm -hmm. Pero en este caso sí. Para él, para él sí. Okay, so when do we use uh, zero conditional, guys? For facts, rules, facts, facts, rules, rules uh, and, and things that are things always that are, true. That are always true. Any questions? Is do you understand it? Um, solo para salir de la duda porque huh? había entendido otra cosa. Entonces el zero condition uh, es el, el la, la letra o o or. El zero conditional ya vamos a llegar a eso. <laughs> okay. Very good. Here. The structure is going to be if or when plus simple present, comma, simple present. Okay. Oh, by the way, el mismo nombre dice, el mismo nombre les dice cuando es. Déjeme, let me go back here. Facts, rules, or things that are always true. Aquí no hay condición, señores. Si ustedes calientan el hielo, se derrite. En, ese, en su momento, si rompían la cuarentena, iban al bote. Si Michero come, come maní, se enferma. Okay, prácticamente, zero condition. No hay condición. Si eso pasa, hay un resultado fijo. Why? Because it's a fact rule or something that is always true. So, say with me, please. If or when? If or when? If or when? If or when? If or when you drink too much. If or when? To drink too much. You, drink too much, you get drunk. You, you get, get drunk. Mm -hmm. you get what is drunk. the cause for this one? If you drink too much. Uh -huh. Esta es la causa, vea. Yeah. And what is the effect? You get drunk. You get drunk. You get drunk. So you, you can drunk. either say, if you drink too much, you get drunk. Or when you drink too much, you get drunk. So el if significa cuando. Cuando bebes mucho, te pones bolenque. O el if significa si. Mm. Si bebes mm. mucho, te pones bolito. Now, the thing is this. No vayan a confundir el if como are you okay if. No es para decir que sí. This is a condition. Only for conditional. Eso significa que sí, solo para los condicionales. <coughs> Say with me, please. Okay. If one mechanical calls, he gets nervous. <laughs> if one mechanical calls, he gets nervous. If I run. <laughs> if, if I, I run, run. If I, get, I run. I get tired. I get tired. I get tired. <laughs> Obviously, I'm fat. What can I do? If the bus is packed, if the bus, bus is packed, if the bus, bus is packed, is packed, I get angry. I get okay. angry. If you are in if trouble, you are. In if trouble. you are in trouble, call the police. Call the police. Call the police. Mm -hmm. Now, packet. ¿Qué es, teacher? Retrasado. Okay. Pack topado. Ah. Mm. So this is pretty much the simple present, guys. You're going to have an if clause. And uh, then you have a comma to separate them. If, simple present, comma, simple present. 
Okay. What is the cause here? <laughs> La causa. Uh -huh. What is the cause? <laughs> Si Juan el mecánico Juan, llama. Uh, what is the effect? He gets nervous. Se pone nervioso. What is the cause? He gets nervous. If, if I, I run. If I run. What is the effect? I get excited. Right. What is the cause? If the, the bus is packed. 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 Mm -hmm. packed. What is the effect? I get it. So let's go ahead and work with this one. The coma is very important, guys. La coma es muy importante. En lo escrito tiene que ir y en lo hablado se tiene que ser All right? Uh, now, here, we can mix everything. We can mix affirmative and negative and even questions. So say with me, please. If they don't score goals, they don't call goals. They don't win. They don't win. They don't win. They don't win. What is the cost? They, they don't, don't, don't score goals. What is the effect? They don't, they don't, they don't win. win. If she gets sick, she doesn't go to work. If she gets sick, she doesn't work. What is the cause? If she, she, she gets sick. What is the effect? She, she doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Teacher, pero si yo me enfermo, yo sí voy a trabajar. Yo no soy tan así. Bueno, pero si ella se enferma, no va. Para ella siempre, ¿verdad? Next one. If you don't take, if you don't take a shower, if you don't, you don't take, take a, a shower, you smell bad. You smell bad. But, so what is the cause? If you don't take a shower. What is the, what is the effect? You smell, you smell bad. bad. You smell bad. You smell bad. Now, if you notice, guys, everything is simple. OK? Subject, verb, complement. Subject, verb, complement. Subject, verb, complement. Subject, verb, complement. Todo es if, simple present, comma, simple present. And last thing I want to show you for the next couple of minutes is that you can switch it. Say with me, please. If you eat too much, you get fat. You eat too much, you, eat you, get, too much, fat. you get fat. You eat too much, you get fat. You get fat if you eat too much. You get fat, you get if, fat you if you eat too, much. Eat, eat too much. If she gets sick, she doesn't go to work. She gets sick, okay. she doesn't go to work. She gets sick, she doesn't go to work. She doesn't go to work. She doesn't go to work if she gets sick. She doesn't go to work if she gets she sick. She doesn't go to work if she gets sick. Good. So, what's happening here, guys? We give it a turn. ¿Qué es lo que pasa aquí, guys? Le damos vuelta. Now, the tip is this. Es lo mismo. El único tip es este. Que si ponemos la cláusula if, van separadas por coma. Pay attention. If you use if at the beginning, you separate them, the sentences with a coma. But if you have the if clause in the middle, you don't use coma. Yeah. Okay. Si tenemos el if en medio, entre cada uno de, los, de las oraciones, no se ocupa coma. ¿Por qué? Porque el if hace las veces de la coma. ¿Estamos? So, before I take attendance, guys, let's work on these examples real quick. How do we say it the other way? ¿Cómo lo decimos al revés? This one. You get drunk mm -hmm. if you drink too much. You get drunk if you drink too much. Good job. Lleva coma? No. 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 Y podemos no. ocupar if or when. No importa cuál, guys. Depende de ustedes. What is the other way of saying it? She gets nervous. 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 Do we use a coma? Yes, se va a darle tu voz a. Ah, Héctor, pon el ejemplo a su lado. 
tranquilo, Héctor, todo va a estar bien. Ok, todo va a estar no bien, Héctor. Mal, ayer estaba bien enojado por la perrita, que estaba como loca. Pero, anyways. <risa> ok, next one. ¿Me han What is the other way of saying this? <risa> I get, tired, I, get I get tired if I run. I get tired if I run. Do we use a comma? No. 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 Next one. No. I get angry. I get angry if the boss, the boss is packed. 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 Do we use packed. a comma? No. no. Nope. And the last one? Each. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. Police. Are the police are in trouble. Are Call the police the if police you are in trouble. Correct. Call the police if you are in trouble. Do we use a comma? No. No, no. no we don't. Uh, the police, the popo as well. A police. Yeah. Okay, so let me take attendance real quick, guys. Alba Noemi Cortez de Gonzalez. Present. Ana Maria Chacón de Garcia. Present. Carlos Ivana Cabrera Serrano. Present. Claudia Lisette Canales de Enriquez. No, present. Débora Raquel Soto Martínez. Present. Daisy Marcela Rosales Canjura. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. No, present. Fernando, no venido. That's weird. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Present. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. José Saúl González Roque. Present. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Present. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Catherine, ya tengo, Present. Días, tengo días sin verla. ¿Dónde está ahí? Sí, no, no, no me conecta la cámara. Ah, ok. Ah, 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 en serio. Desde okay. ah, ayer. I believe you. No worries. Mariana Carolina. Saúl. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Mariana Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Thank you. Don Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present, teacher. Sabrina Mabela Tin Castro. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. And William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Very good. This topic is kind of easy, right? Algo fácil este tema, ¿no? ¿O me equivoco? Mm. No. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is something we're going to do right now. Let, we're going to practice this. Si mezclas azul. Qué bárbaro. Guys, do you know anybody at Optica Franklin? I think I need glasses. Si mezclas blanco y negro, obtienes gris. If you mix black and white, you get gray. Okay. Repeat after me, please. If you mix black and white, you get gray. If you, if mix, you mix, mix black and white, black and white you, get gray. Gray. you get gray. You get gray if you mix black and white. You get gray if you mix black and white. Okay, so um, what I need you to do is to go to the break. To go. Um, no me acordaba que había puesto ese tipo de ejemplos, guys. I'm sorry. Era para el canal de YouTube, no para una clase. Um, so let's do this as a group. Let's work together and uh, do this both ways. I'm going to take a screenshot of my material and um, you're going to work on it as a group. Also, you're going to create two more of your own. Or you know what? Let me change this. You're going to do it like this, if first, and then if at the beginning, at the middle. So, cada uno, si te tiras a una piscina, te mojas. Aquí les dejo, el, les dejo el verbo. Lo van a poner con la cláusula if al principio. Y ese mismo con la cláusula if en medio. ¿Ok? Van a ser los cuatro. Así como está este ejemplo. Si mezcla blanco y negro, obtienes gris. If you mix black and white, coma, you get gray. You get gray if you mix black and white. Justo como esto. And uh, once you finish the four of them, I need you to give me one example each. Una vez que ustedes han completado estas cuatro, les han pasado el inglés bien hechitas, quiero que me hagan una por cada integrante. So, 
pay attention. Les estoy dando algo que tiene que pasar, ¿verdad? Es una regla. If you are five members, coma, you make five new examples. What is the other way? You make five new examples. Example, if, if you are five, you are five members. Chiche, ¿verdad? Ok, esperé, escuchar un sí, pero 